Hi, YouTube family. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. Yes, this is Victoria Smirbo here. We talk about my faith in God, lifestyle, fashion, finances, yes, money, all that pertains to life and godliness. Yeah, if you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you are, oh, you are the G, like like you are the g i thank you guys for all your support and love yes so let's go straight into today's video today's video we're going to be talking about money yes money money Woo! who doesn't like money like tell me if you don't like money then we need a psychiatric doctor to check on you yes money we all i know the bible says a lot of money is the root of all evil we love money, but we are not infatuated by money. We are not moved by money. We are not controlled by money. That's why I have this channel. Let's talk about everything money and just how to master our money and not letting our money master us. Yep. So today I'm going to be talking about the difference between a credit union and a bank. Yes. We know we're no longer in the olden days or in the days where our parents used to keep money at home. Now we are in the electronic card system, the banking age. So... Um, I'm just going to share some tips and some differences between credit union and bank. And if you're out there looking for where or you're doubting where can I put my money or you're in that place where you're doing your research, maybe this video is going to help you and just enlighten you. Or if you already have a credit union account or a bank account, maybe some tips in this video is going to help you perf your decisions moving forward on where to keep your money, where to invest your money, where to save your money and things like that. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead. What is a bank? So I defined a bank as a business that allows you to deposit your money. And in return, they give out your part of your money as loan to those who need loan and the bank earn interest from those loan. Yes. So the bank allows you to deposit your money in deposits, savings, um, checking accounts, and in return, and they in turn take part of that money, give it out as loan, credit card loans, um, a mortgage loan, a lot of loans, and they have they get interest on those loans. Yes, bank entice you to deposit your money with them because the more money we deposit with the bank, the more they have to give out as loan, and the more interest they will earn from those loans they give out. The second thing I want to mention is the fact that banks could be owned by private individuals or your shares could be sold in the open stock market which means banks have owners or shareholders who are the ones who solely drive the decisions in the bank like 80 percent of the decisions of the bank is made by them yeah bank earn charges from loans given and in turn most often they pay those they, your customers they pay them very minimal very little from the interest they earn from the loans they have given out sometimes they even pay you nothing i know like in canada some banks if you don't have up to five thousand dollar deposit with them they they don't um, you are the one who pay the monthly charges for operating a checking or a saving account but when you have above five thousand then that charge sometimes is 14 16 18 dollars depending on the bank the charge is waived away because you have kept uh, five thousand Ah, 5,000 now. They can give 5,000 for loan and they can make money. So, yeah, 5,000 is with them and they are using it to boost bars, increase their money. Why would they not uplift the $15 monthly charge on your account? Yeah, so that's what some banks do. So, and then the next thing in a bank, you are a customer. Banks call those who put money in the banks. You are a customer. So let's move to credit union. Credit union, on the other hand, are um, non-profit organizations which are mostly owned by actual people who use the credit union. And credit union, for most often, are always um, based on a community and organization. Yeah, that's why you see most organizations. Like if you're in Cameroon, you hear about oh, um, Tico Banana Plantation Credit Union. You hear about Toleti Credit Union. They are owned. Um, based on an affiliation to a company, an organization, a family, a community. So it's mostly community-based. It's non-profit. So it's there to help its member. It's run by the members. It's owned by the members. In a credit union, you are actually a member. You are not a customer, which means that you have a say in the decision of the credit union. Most credit unions have like presidents, board members who are elected by the members of the credit union. Who are the members? Members are those who actually use the credit union. 
So credit unions are governed by a board of directors elected by the members, as I earlier mentioned. And these board of directors, they make decisions based on the interest of the members. So it's mostly like an in-house thing. It's mostly like, okay, you have maybe... Like in layman terms, it's like you have two our brothers who decide to put your money together, elect one or two people to make decisions concerning that money to the best interest of the twelve of them. So that's that's literally like what credit unions do. That's why I said before that most of the credit unions are affiliated to organizations. They have links to corporation people in a certain job. You you hear about oh. Um, you can hear about engineering credit union, a banker's credit union, an organizational credit union. So it's mostly affiliated to a certain group of people. Either an organization, um, a career path, they are, or, 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 a, or, or a community, like oh, Bafood Credit Union, Mancon Credit Union. So you get, it's always affiliated to a certain people and a certain organization is there to cater for the need of the members of that organization or that community or that society, that little society where the credit union is based. So a credit union, unlike a bank, your decisions making is different. Like because it's non-profit and your decision is based on the general um, benefits of every member, they are not out there to serve or to make money to enrich a handful of owners because the credit union itself is owned by the members. So unlike the bank, whose decisions are driven by the owners or the, or the shareholders, it's, and their decision is to enrich themselves. Who wants to open a business? And you don't want to get rich from your business. But credit union, because it's non-profit, the decision making is different because it's based on the interests of every member. So now let's go to the product and the services that banks and credit unions um, offer. Most banks and credit unions almost offer the same products and services like checking account saving account credit card mortgages they are almost different but i have found out that credit union offer a variety of saving account with credit most credit union you can open a lot of um saving account which are not on they are like you don't pay charges for them like it doesn't matter the amount of savings accounts you have you can have saving for your children you can have saving for your house you can have a lot of different saving account and they are not um, there's no fee attached to it but with banks banks have a, a limit on the number of saving accounts you can have and most often there are monthly charges on the banking or the products that banks offer to your customers the next thing we'll talk about is the interest rate. Yes, interest rate on bank, whether interest on investment or interest on loan or even interest on saving. We all know that most saving accounts have an interest rate that is at an acute that is being paid to that saving account, but checking accounts don't. Um, if you take loan from a bank or a credit union, there is always an interest on that loan. So research have shown that most banks charge more interest rate on loan as compared to credit union. Most banks pay less interest rate on your saving account as compared to credit union. But I'm not saying that you can't nowadays with the banking competition and everything, you cannot find a bank that pays more interest rate than a credit union. But in general, in a, on an average, credit union, they charge less interest on loans given to their members than banks. And they pay more interest on saving to their members than the interest that banks will pay on a saving account that you have in a bank. Okay, let's talk about safety. I know many people are concerned when they want to invest, put their money or deposit their money in bank or credit union. Is it safe? Will I wake up one day and the doors are closed and I don't know who to go to? So I'm going to say this. This is where you have to do your due diligence. If you want to decide to put your money in a bank or a credit union. So for, in Canada, I know most credit unions have, um, they are being controlled by a national credit union administration. And in that administration, every member of a credit union in Canada has a 250,000 worth of insurance per member. 
in Canada. I know when I was in Cameroon, I used to, I did my stash in a credit union and I had an account with a credit union. Most credit unions have a board, I've forgotten how it's called, that, that, that have a reserve. That credit unions have a reserve with that board. If they are going bankrupt or anything is happening, the reserve they have with that board is going to, that's what they're going to use to pay off the savings of your members. So those things are in place. Yes, banks also have um, organizations that controls the bank to make sure that the banks don't go bankrupt on your members here in Canada. In Africa, that's not really the case because I know of very privately owned banks that have shut their doors down on your members. One thing I would say here is that if you're going to go for a bank or a credit union, do your due diligence, do your research. Don't just put your money in a bank or a credit union just because it's next door or just because you feel like it's right bank. Check your history. How long have they been in existence? Do your due diligence. Don't just go to any place because it just opened its door today. The building looks nice. It's not about the building. So do your research on that. Let's, another thing I also mentioned about banks and credit union when it comes to safety and security. With credit union, if you are planning to travel abroad, most schools, most embassies will not accept, for most countries I know, for Cameroon that I know, will not accept bank statement from credit union, but they will take bank statement from international banks, not any quack bank. So even if you're choosing a bank to put your money, what kind of bank are you choosing? Is the bank an international bank? Another tip I'll give here, some people put your money in credit union. Um, um, invest your money in the products of a credit union. Get the high interest. When they are about to travel and the bank and the embassy is looking for a bank statement, they move your money that have held them much interest from the credit union and they transfer it to a dominant account that they used to have with the bank that wasn't really active just to be able to build that um, account history in a year and they use that bank statement for whatever they want to use internationally for that could be some a, a area where you want to explore this means this is who have a, um, an active much more active presence in a credit union and a very passive person in the bank but will use the bank whenever they want to use it for their advantage wisdom is profitable for direction so the next thing I want to talk about is customer service. Yes, customer service in bank or credit union. So for a customer service, most often customer service in bank and credit union could be good or bad depending on the management and the people in place. We have seen customer service in some banks which are very creepy, even though the banks are big and international. We have seen customer service in credit union which can be very, like, not too nice. But the overall that I was saying customer service is that with credit union, you can easily have a lead way if you have a loan in credit union or you have an issue because you are a member, because you have a decision or because you have a say in that credit union, because you elected and the credit union is not as big as a bank. You can easily have a one-on-one -on -one with the manager, with the director, and table your situation. And they could accommodate your delay in loan payment, or they can accommodate your you facilitating you taking a loan for something you get rather than bank. There is so much bureaucracy when it comes to bank banking, and your rules are straight as a ruler. Like it takes corruption and backbiting to be able to bend the rules. But we are talking about clear and fair banking rules and credit union rules in banks you, you like once you have passed your due date on a bill or on a loan or something whatever consequences there has to go in play but in credit union you can you can you can have a lead way you can actually be pardoned you can actually be considered there are a lot of things that they can look into because it's more community based it's more family oriented it's more to empower the members it's not for profit does that make sense banks will take advantage banks will jubilate when you fall back on your loan or your bill and they have to ch charge you twice because the more money they are making into your pocket the more it reach the owner and the shareholders get the next thing i want to talk about credit union for the ones i know in africa i know in credit union in africa in cameroon in particular i don't know about other countries make sure about your country credit union have what they call agms annual general meeting they invite all your members and they talk about 
the rules, the regulation, they even that's when they even elect your board members and the new um, head of directors and everything in the credit union. So you have a say. Banks don't have that opportunity to call an AGM, to call you to come talk about the rules. No, the owners cut the shot and the customers just go with it. They have no choice. Yes. So that's convenient. It's a bank in system convenient is the person you're in the bank is it more convenient than a credit union yes i feel like banks have more upper hand when it comes to convenient most big banks are nationwide some are even international and it's very convenient but credit unions are mostly local and provincial like i said before it's based on organizations based on communities so most often if you have to move change province change your job move internationally you won't be able to use or assess your 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 funds in the credit union easily as compared to a bank yes i know some credit unions now are partnering with other companies to be able to make your atm and uh, withdrawals accessible to your members but if you're gonna do it out of the province or long distance i think there are some charges on this which, which kind of make credit unions not so much convenient in that light so these are some of the tips i just wanted to bring out here when it comes to you doing your research and making up your mind where you want to put your money will you put your money in a bank or in a credit union yes if you are like me tell me in the comment section where you put your money if you're looking for where to deposit your money and i want to say this that both organizations are very important they have um, product and services that they give to your customer it just depends on where you are at in life and what you are looking for that will help you be able to choose or make this decision to your advantage yep thank you guys for watching up to this point i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed this video please if you haven't subscribed subscribe give me a thumbs up share it to your community your village people yes your meeting people yes your family members love you all remember god loves you